All right, guys. So the news came in today that the Astros punishments have came out of the Astros cheating in the 2017 World Series. I'm gonna do a quick little talk about it. There's not too much to say, but the, the punishment is big and it is big baseball news, so I thought I'd talk about it. And guys, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe if you're a baseball fan. I do all types of baseball content, so make sure you subscribe. Also leave a like on this video, it's the best way to show your support. Anyway, let's get into it. So the punishment for the Astros, it was kind of what I predicted. The first punishment is suspensions for the Astros GM Jeff Lou now, I'm not sure his name is, um, and manager AJ Hinch. Also Alex Cora, an assistant manager of the Astros at the time, now he's manager of the Red Sox, he's probably gonna get a punishment too, but they haven't released that. Uh, the manager punishment is kind of what I expected. Actually, when I first saw the tweet, the first thing I read was that the managers were getting suspended. And for a minute, that's the only punishment I thought they were giving the Astros. Like, cause that's all I saw in the tweet and it scared me because this isn't much at all. I honestly don't think the managers affect the game that much. They do, I mean, there's big decisions to be made. I feel like if the Dodgers had a better manager for the playoffs, they probably would have won. Or if, uh, whatever, I forgot his name, Dodgers manager. If he wouldn't have choked in the playoffs, I think they could have won the World Series. But other than that, there's not really many times the manager is like the huge different difference maker. I think if I think you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, that happens. Then they lose first and second round picks of 2020 and 2021, which is just it's a perfectly fine good punishment. I think everyone kind of expected them to lose some draft picks, and then a five million dollar fine, which isn't that much but it's the most they could find the Astros, which I'm just really happy with his punishments. You really gotta get it into like teams' brains that you can't be cheating. And they pretty much did the most they can do. And the thing is though, I still don't know how much this will affect the Astros within the next few years. They still got a great team. They did lose Garrett Cole. They did lose the managers, but again, I don't think the managers affect the game that much. I still think the Astros will be leading the division, honestly. But for the future after, their future, I don't know how good maybe, let's say 2022 and beyond they'll be. All their pitchers are getting old. Grinky Verlander is old, are old. Garrett Cole is on the Yankees, of course. And their hitting's obviously great with Bregman, Correa, Springer. But, you know, I don't know about the future of their pitching. Obviously, their bullpen's not good. So this is a just well-deserved punishment. And there's one thing that a lot of people are saying. A lot of people think that the Astros, they should have taken away the World Series ring. And you know, you, ju you just can't do that. You just can't take their ring away. Like that whole season didn't count. I mean, honestly, they still won it all. Their team put in a lot of work, especially the pitchers. The pitchers weren't cheating. They put in all their work. Uh, if they weren't cheating, the Dodgers honestly would have won. But I mean, it still happened. Barry Bonds took steroids and he still gets the home run crown because he still hit the home runs. I mean, you can't take away the fact that he hit them. It was MLB's job of failing to, you know, bust him earlier. Um, same with the Astros thing. It happened in 2017 and it's not realized till 2019. And there's some like blatantly, whatever that word is, obvious things that, obvious notices of the Astros cheating during the 2017 season. If you saw the video that John Boy Media posted of Danny Farquhar pitching, and you can hear the bangs from the dugout, everyone knew at that point the Astros were cheating, but nothing was done until 2019. So they never stopped until 2019. And this punishment is the most they could do. So honestly, there's not much explaining about it. I just wanted to kind of make an announcement and kind of give a few of my thoughts about it. Um, and it is big news and I'm glad and relieved relieved that they did as much as they can and for you, those of you that think they should take their title away i'm just saying that just can't happen and there's actually i think news of the red sox may be cheating and it really doesn't surprise me at all because as this technology is growing like it's going to be scarier because you don't know how many more teams are going to be cheating but but that again the more technology lets you catch teams easier so i'm optimistic about that and you know all the sports i think Teams are trying as much as they can to bend the rules, but they're getting caught too. And this just makes me glad. I'm glad that they did as much as they can. And it probably, the uh, it may be a little harsher punishments than I expected. I was hoping to go the, as harsh as they can, which they obviously did. Um, 
and yeah it's really good that's all I gotta say about it make sure you like the video we got a lot of videos coming up so make sure you guys stay tuned I'm grinding out these videos make sure you check out my Instagram too at satchel.white my TikTok is at satchel7vids and that is it we are actually close to the season what like two months away it's what it's already January so a few months till spring training also guys spring training I get asked this like a million times half my comments are asking whether I'm going to spring training or not yes I'm going to spring training I might go two different times too so I will film a lot of videos there because I know you guys are waiting for that and yeah that's all I gotta say thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and peace